Like the more things, the more easier it is to get distracted. But I'm just making sure that I get things done, even if I'm, even if I possibly may get distracted. You know what I mean? That's how I keep myself. You know. That's how I keep myself prepared for the next hmm, moment. So every moment in time, because if you don't prepare, you fail to be prepared. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's good to do things even if you don't know. Even if you don't know. Even if you don't have any other reason to do them. Gosh, I was biking today and the wind was blowing was blowing my hair and you know now my hair feels kind of dry and and it feels sort of hard dry and hard and, and uh texture changed from soft to like really changed from soft to like crinkly and puffy you know I think my hair really could use like a deep conditioning or something Gosh. I decided to do, you know, I've been getting a lot of requests from to do certain things. And I'm like, no, because it's like, me doing that is not going to allow me to do other things. So it's like, you know, by saying no, I'm giving space to other things I could do. And I've been so used to saying yes so much that it took me away from other things that I could be doing. And it's like every single thing, even if you don't see monetary gain at the moment, it's like you get what you Put in whatever you sow, you shall reap. So, if you sow seeds in certain areas that really have no other bigger purpose, it's like the purpose just ends there, which is just a quick monetary gain. But if you sow seeds in areas where you know that you'll have a big return based upon how it will help you feel after you complete it then it's like even if you don't see a return on your investment in that moment in time doing that activity Like, you will see the investment. You will see the 
return on your investment later on because you worked, you know, to get to a point where it has became really developed, you know? Gosh, there's so many things. I'm still trying to figure this thing out, this YouTube stuff out. At the moment, I'm mostly just focused on communication and, you know, it takes me some time, sometimes to even formulate the words on what to talk about. But I'm just going with the flow here and letting the spirit within me guide me and just speak, you know? It's crazy because one of my previous videos has been removed <laughs> because <laughs> they thought it was medical, you know, that disinformation type of thing, yeah. But, you know, that's not the intention here. The intention is to bring awareness to the spiritual nature of every disease, you know? And how, you know, if you are in a very negative situation and you are, you know, affected emotionally by that by that um energy it's like it could harm you when it comes to your health right stress stress is real man stress is real so the more stressed you are, the more it puts stress on your body. That was the whole point of the video. It's so simple, you know? It's simple. And it's not, I wouldn't call that, <laughs> I wouldn't call that that whole term that they use. I don't want to say it here because they might just... <laughs> spy on me <laughs> people spying and stuff ain't that something <clears throat> just know that the less stress you when you limit the amount of stress you have that will help you to be more healthy that's the point that's that's the message i'm just trying to tell you you know and depending on where the stress is at like oh communication stress heart stress emotion stress mental stress you know all these type of different type of stresses you know they, they, they do a number on your body so you know just make sure that you're doing what you can to to just stay in a relaxed state of mind and do your best to you know simplify your life because that does help and I can't speak for everyone and you have to have the discernment to know what's right for you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you, look within. And, uh, hmm. I don't know what else. 
like okay i know i started this video also talking about how you know when i make videos i'm really just doing my best to develop my communication skills and things like that see like you know for a long time my communication was sort of blocked because in the past I was judged very harshly and not only that but it's just you know having to learn the English language when my native language was Sp with Spanish and and Garifuna which is my from my country you know it's a mixture of arawak and spanish and some other language too and it's like all this stuff all the harm that was done to me as a child the programming the brainwashing you know they made in in school they had us feel so bad just for speaking our language they said you don't speak that in here if you speak that in here you go to detention i'm like really that's do you realize the amount of stress that put on me and then not only that but there was this one time you know i was in a basketball i was in a, in a basketball I forgot what do you call that when when you go to when you um when you are a part of a basketball um team I guess like I was playing basketball and and they gave me a shirt that was like so large and stuff and then when I went to go to see a family member they were like why do you wear why are you wearing such a big shirt because <laughs> i felt and and then they were like oh you need to wear <laughs> things to accentuate your figure and, and stuff like that and it sort of stayed with me for a while and kind of caused me to feel very self-conscious after that so I became very, very self-conscious and that really, really, that really affected my communication skills and my ability to have like, I guess, healthy self-esteem and also just confidence. Like that really affected my confidence level because from then on, I was just even more detailed than I was already um, like, you know, like I was already very detailed and observant and and stuff and quiet because i was mostly telepathic but when people started talking about why don't i talk that much and and also don't talk your native language you know that just made things so much worse and it's and it's like my whole like way of expressing myself was just undeveloped for a long long time so like things that teenagers were doing I was not doing because I was undeveloped <laughs> you know and things that 20 year olds were doing I was I was just beginning to like get to a level where I was learning how to communicate with others more effectively like so it's like you know it's my my whole life is more like developing like slower in a way but it's like and that doesn't mean that I'm not intelligent it means that I just had certain areas that were not as developed as others So it's kind of like that. That's what I mean by 
those things, you know, affecting your health. Like, it can definitely start in the mind and, and in, and how you are affected by your environment. So it's like, all of that, yeah, some, yeah, like, yeah, and it's like, the more blocks you have, the more, the more um, susceptible you are to being abused even more, you know, because you won't have the uh, ability to stand up for yourself in certain moments because you don't know how to communicate your feelings. So then it makes you more vulnerable. So, and you know, everybody's level is different. Everybody starts in different levels of development. You know, that's why everybody has a different purpose. And everything affects everybody differently. And I'm just doing my best to share my story with others so that I can help to bring awareness and help to heal the world help to heal the world in whichever way I can because if I don't do anything then who will you know and if I don't show up for life who like nobody could show up to life more than I can show up to life for me you know if I don't show up to life then it's like what am I doing here <clears throat> hmm. so and that's another reason why I, I I um named this channel authentically living me because you know all my life, I've been doing my best to live authentically because of all of the um, things that have affected me, you know, In including my indigenous culture, like, like the, the type of way that they had us feeling about you know, they had us feeling very ashamed to be ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a mixture of a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a Aboriginal indigenous being, you know, I've been here for eons. My DNA has been on this this planet for eons and for me to be here right now that means I'm strong that means I have strong genes that means that I am eternal yeah you know, like, there's a lot of things I'm doing to improve my life because that's the thing. When you, when you live your life feeling like, like you're not able to express yourself, you just have more, like other parts of your senses develop more than others. Like you could, you have the ability to sense the energies from everything around you more because you're not 
as communicative as others. So instead you observe more and you think more and you feel more. <clears throat> yeah, you feel more. It's different for everybody. Some people talk more, so they, you know, like some people talk more than they listen. I'm more like I listen more than I talk. But I'm shifting the scales and now I'm starting to do my best to talk more. <sighs> because if you don't develop the different aspects of yourself, you'll never get to see your highest potential. You know? And it's just certain things. It's like, you know, for other people, they might already are used to certain things. So they're not going to want to get more of that thing because they're already used to having that. So it's like, it doesn't matter that much to them. But for somebody like me, certain things matter more. Like for me, I'm all about expression. That includes creativity. That includes building things. That includes working on my artistic abilities, my creative abilities, my, you know, just learning. Because, you know, in order, like when you when you go through these things, it makes you if it sort of influences you to want to learn more, like want to learn more about the psyche. Because you know, like if you've been going through this, it makes you like really think more. So. It's like certain things that could have been easy for others to to do. It's completely different for me. And I know I said that already a lot of times already. So, um, what else am I to say right now, though? I don't know, I think I'm going to keep it like this, keep it short enough. Yeah, I'm not trying to have really long videos, but yes. All right, until next time, I hope I have brought more awareness to you. All right. <laughs>